Hello guys, welcome back. This is Redstone Without Limits and we're going to make another video. Uh, this time I'm going to show you a, um, a slightly simpler XOR. Something that's a little bit easier to replicate. Um, so we're going to get started here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we basically need to make... Uh, this is similar to a repeater gate. Uh, what it's gonna do it's gonna go out here and then um, or on the outside because uh, yes so it it ors the output or the, these two the outputs of these two uh, double inverter inverters and that's the first part of this the second part would be the and what we're going to do is uh, place a piece of redstone there. And before I, I continue, I added a texture pack um, with the value of the redstone on the side. So just in case we start getting into comparator stuff, it'll make it easier uh, for you to understand. So uh, what we're going to do is um, place these up here. It's just like this AND gate. And these are the inputs. Just like that. Okay, so that works. Now here's the next step. This one's probably going to blow your mind. But what we're going to do is take the output of that AND and we're going to place a torch on the output. So once that AND turns on, so basically once both of the inputs are on, then this OR will no longer work, thus uh, turning it off. Hopefully that makes sense. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do next, is I'm going to break this and we're gonna build another one um, exactly like it okay so your ores right here and then the and and the shut off okay cool if you want to know the proper terms for these, uh, the AND would be the propagate, or no, the generate, and the output would be the propagate. Um, so we're, we're going to continue this. We're going to build a second one. Um, but I will be back once I've made that second one. And I'm going to put them right next to each other. Or, what we could simply do is just build one right next to it because I, I just wanted to make sure that these are uh, concise and not going uh, this way rather than that way because that would be improper so what we're going to do is just, you're just going to make two more and these are fairly a easy to replicate once you get the pattern down And we're going to place this, and then that's going to transfer. This is basically transferring over to the next um, adder, uh, your carry, basically. So um, each one of these is called a half adder. And the reason I'm combining them together is so we can have a full adder. The full adder allows us to have um, a carry flag. So uh, what we're going to do is just make this last adder. OK, and then we have, we have the adder. Now what we need to do is make the carry. 
So I'm going to make the carry right here. And we're going to have to have um, carries from each one of these. So carries from each AND gate. Uh, it might be more efficient to place it there. And I'm going to do a little redstone trickery right here. Basically, uh, since this is a one dot, it can go into a block very easily. And we're going to just uh, make sure that it's still powering these and this one. And also transferring over to the carry. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this going into here. Making sure to block off this so the redstone doesn't um, leak. So that's going to go into the next and. And we're going to repeat the process right here. Like so. Okay, this will be our carry. And then we're going to do this. Oh, and we got to make sure that these carries don't leak, so I'm going to place a block here. Okay. So we have a carry on this one because we have it on. So now uh, I'm going to show you uh, this in action. So these are our outputs. And then we can also have um, a carry right here, just so we can activate that as well. So I'm going to label these. This is going to be your CN. And then uh, the next one is going to be your input A. I always uh, say the A is on the left or the right. Input A. Input B. There we go. And then also this is your bit one and bit two. So now that we have it all organized. We're going to do some simple addition. So, um, on the A input, that is your first input. Okay? So, we're going to do um, 3, 1, 1. If you remember in the last video, we explained binary, plus 1. And the carry, it counts as your third bit, so this would be a 4. I should probably label these as well. So this is your 1, this is your 2, uh, this is your C out slash 4. So now we have a 4. That was 3 plus 1. Let's try uh, another one. Uh, let's do one plus one. That should equal two. So, um, that is the very basics of the adder. Now, let's say we wanted to make a four bit adder. You would just uh, simply repeat the process. But this carry would go into the next adder. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, don't forget to like it. And I will see you in the next episode. See ya.